Got him. I did not know there was carp in here. They're gonna go look at it. He's taking us under the bridge. Don't do that. He got it. Yep, I was watching him. They're smoking that school of bait fish. Y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today we are gonna be fly fishing. We've got one rod and reel. We're hitting the creeks and we have a special package from a subscriber. That is right, Alex has sent us a ton of custom hand-tied flies from up north in Michigan. I'm gonna link all of his information down in the description. It is at Gators Adventures on Instagram. Uh, you gotta check his stuff out. He sent us, he was so generous. Literally, this thing is chuck full of streamers, poppers, little, is it the nymphs? Is it the little, the little tiny guys? And we're gonna have fun fishing this creek right here. They're playing soccer. It's like a huge, busy event this weekend uh, over yonder, but we're gonna be next to the disc golf course hitting the creek. There's tons of varieties of species of fish within this creek. Hopefully we can catch some, uh, maybe some bluegill, maybe some bass, and anything else that is lurking. There could be some gar, there could be some carp. I really have not too much of an idea. All I know is I wanna have a shot at some of these fish on the fly rod. Pretty sure I've still got a deck back here. There we go. <laughs> I gotta get to the spots fast. <laughs> yeah. Okay, look at this. Inside of here, so many flies. Detailed notes on every fly, and there's poppers. Look, this one looks like a cricket. This is insane. Caddis, Adams, spinners for adult mayflies, regular size mayflies, stoneflies, pheasant tails, squirmy wormy, hoppers, which is grasshoppers, beetles, various nymphs. He sent this all so cool man i really appreciate it alex don't be afraid to reach out if you need any other flies keep fly fishing gator so sick y'all look at these streamers look at that dude we're fishing and then i believe this is the assorted nymphs look at those dudes crazy absolutely crazy all right so i'm gonna empty my tackle box okay so i just emptied my tailwaters tackle box i'm gonna put three streamers in here different colors i'm gonna take one popper grasshopper i'm gonna have to look at the notes but i got this guy oh these look so good i'm gonna take a mayfly we're gonna take this guy look at that sick and let's take a beetle. I think that's good. This may still be one of the first fly fishing videos you've seen from our channel, as it is new to us. We started mid-September, so here is our setup. Orvis, uh, Hydros, this is the three, the size three, uh, along with a TFO Legacy Rod. This is a six weight. I think it's the nine foot. And then we've got some Rio fly line. I believe this is, it shows a small mouth on the package. I think it's like 6FRF or something like that. It's a Rio warm water line. So let's hit the creek. I'll have everything linked below for you guys. I'm about to find out. I haven't been here in years. <laughs> we'll go to where it opens up though. I'm gonna hit this like deeper pool. Now, if I remember, it definitely has cleared up right here. I'm not seeing too many fish. I left my glasses in the car because I was like, I'm gonna be in the creek. It's gonna be nice and shady. And I really didn't even think about cutting through the glare. I'm gonna have to get on the maps because I know it's around here somewhere. Almost getting hit by discs. The golfers are active today. I'm just getting started. I'm looking for a good place. It's looking good, but I haven't seen too many fish yet. So, yeah, yeah. okay, gotta be fish here. Nice current, fresh water flowing in, probably bringing all these bugs. Look, I'm seeing flies right in front of me. Oh, wow. We're gonna throw here for a minute. First things first. There we go, y'all. First fly tied on. Oh, we just had a fish. First cast, we just had a fish bite. There we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. Got him. What do we have? I don't know. He's like really running. This is almost like a bass. There we go. Little gill. Come on, baby. Nice, y'all. Alex, they work, baby. How sick is that? First fish on the custom flies from Michigan. That is cool. Fish in the creeks, y'all. Just what you've been asking for lately. But little did you know it would be on some flies sent from up north. That's cold water, too. Wow. This must be like really cold because that fish was freezing. Ooh, that water is cold. All right, let's try for more. Couple more casts with this fly and then I'm gonna switch it up. All right, y'all, let's move it down a little ways. This is so cool. These flies stay afloat so much better than the ones I bought from the store. Really crazy. Whatever material you're making them out of. Extra buoyant. Next spot. Oh yeah. If I can get over there across, there might be a way to walk down to that little platform. Casting is gonna be tough, but there could be some big fish down there. That looks good. Let's 
so lifelike. It's just floating down through the current on the surface. Oh, I think a fish was looking at it. I don't know, no bites. Let's try this way. Oh, 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 bite, fish. Do we still have this thing? I got him. Little gill in the creek, second one, heck yes. I thought I saw some action over here. This is sick. Gotta give him a shout out on Instagram. I really appreciate all the hand tied flies, man. I am getting them today. Little shout out for Alex on Instagram. Let's try another cast over here. I think there's gonna be more opportunity. Okay, a few things here. I'm casting backhanded, so it's a little awkward. I got stuck in a tree branch over here, and the way I snapped a previous fly rod was by trying to pop it out with the rod, because these are a lot lighter duty compared to our casting setups. So I pointed the rod straight at it, and I don't know if this is the best advice, but it worked for me and I didn't break the rod. And I just gave it a firm strip. I gave it a firm pull, right? And that's what got it free. I've been missing a handful of hits over here, though. They're all right there in the middle, but I do want to target possibly a bass or, or some bigger fish. So. I think it might be time to tie something else on and also potentially try another area of the creek and see if we can find that big one. It is between the popper, ooh, I would love to throw a popper, or a streamer. And I'm liking the way the streamers look, that is for sure. I think just because y'all have seen me throw shad colored streamers or like white, I think I'm gonna go with this guy right here. This is like a, it's stuck. I feel like if bed sheets were made out of this, it's so comfortable. So we'll save the popper till the end, how about that? Something completely different that we've never fly fished in a creek too for the first time, so. Let's rig it up. <clears throat> Plenty more to go, but let's see what this one can do. Uh-oh. Town Lake, huh? Apparently, skateboarding and fishing is not restricted. Let's go. Huh, look at docks, drains. Let me take a look at the creek first. Oh, there's a fish. This side looks deeper though. Maybe we send a few casts out. Okay, at least I can see to the bottom. Yo, bass. Yes. Oh my gosh, that bass came around and looked at it. Well, we had one turn and look at it, but I think I spooked them all off. It's so shallow, they can see you as quick as you can see them. Hey, all right, he's on. Nice and easy, huh? I spooked them all over your way. <laughs> Off the bridge, too. I see you. <laughs> I fished a little bit where the creek kind of feeds in, and it was pretty good. I'm trying to get a bass on the fly rod. I'm going to try and walk it down and spot one. Good luck, man. He said he's seen one about eight pounds where I started at. That's ridiculous. You ever catch him in the lake, too, or no? Never caught anything out of the lake. <laughs> I might go try that too. I, I want to hit that. I think that corner over there is shallow by the drains or that little bridge. It is, it is right there. Well, let me go see what's up over here. You have a good one. Sunset is in 49 minutes. It's a little early for top water. We could very well make it happen. Oh, there we go. First cast. See, we figured that was going to happen, didn't we? Well, we didn't even get it casted. And I think it's in this tree somewhere. I see it, I see the line dangling, I'm trying to get it with the rod. Not a good idea, probably. Oh, oh, look, I got it, I got it, I got it, got it. Got it, we didn't lose it. Looking up in the tree for like three minutes, people are walking by like, what is this kid doing just staring at this tree right now? Finally, I see some line dangling. Definitely one of the baits I did not want to lose if I was gonna lose any of them. Now, if I was a big bass moving up shallow for fall, what would I want to eat? Probably a nice little poppin' frog. Those poor creek bass are probably wishing I caught him instead of him. I saw his little stash down there by his feet. I could have been their savior. We're gonna go ahead and make a move. I'm gonna try and make it happen in any body of water I can find. So whether it's a creek or a pond, I wasn't feeling Town Lake this evening. Had some buddies out earlier tell me that today was a slow bite for them. That's why you gotta get on the fly fishing. All right, it's about a week later. We're gonna keep this thing going though. I did not want to do Alex dirty and not catch a decent sized bass on either a streamer or the top water. And so we have broken the flies back out, continuing the video, which has been so much fun so far, but I do want to catch a respectable little fishy here for y'all. So we have got the fly rod, we have got the bag of goodies, and we are about to rig up and hit a spot that is really special because there's also some smallmouth bass in this pond in uh, Dallas, Texas. And so that is something unique. And I don't know why when I post smallmouth content, it doesn't 
don't get the same amount of love as the largemouth stuff, probably just because of my following and we typically go for largies, but it's like pound for pound, these things fight. And there's no guarantees we'll catch one because they're, they're just kind of like mixed in with the largemouth here at this location. But you know, normally we'd have to travel up north or go hit some big lakes around here to catch some smallies and uh, this place has a few. So maybe we can get on one today and get an insane fight on the fly rod with one. And it would also be the first time catching that species on the fly. So we're continuing this thing up, man. We got more in store. Let's go ahead and try and get some big fish. There we go. Gonna start off with the old shad streamer. Oh, that's a nice rod in the trees. This thing will look a little bit different here in a second. It's gonna look like that. Oh, wow. Oh, there's a lot of bass right here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Y'all, there's like a school of 15 bass right here. Watch this. Watch this. Oh no. Oh no. Gosh dang it. There's a school of 15 bass right there. Oh my gosh. Weston, what are you doing? Cut it out. Idiot. That was my chance. Got him. Oh my god. We had him first cast. We had him first cast. One came and chased it. They're, they're wanting to eat it. Yo, they're all right here looking at it. This is a little bit more clear than I thought, so I just switched it up. This natural color should do phenomenal. Looks a lot more like the bluegill that are swimming in here and just bait fish that these guys could be eating. So this might do the trick. Throughout the natural for a while, time to go something I do not normally throw. That is a purple fly. <laughs> Getting some confidence in this one if I get a bite. Let me tell you what, never been thrown before. Oh, it actually looks really good though. A little bit of pink in there too. Good one. Oh my gosh, first one. Come on. It's a good one too. It's a good one. Looks like a, man, this is like a three and a half right here. There we go. This is exactly what we needed. There's two big ones right on him too. Right on his tail, trying to fight over it. Now this is some, uh, you don't see a real fly fisherman doing this. This is some content creator right here. Six weight rod but fly line is weighted for a lot. It's really heavy and I tie that 20 pound leader. There we go. Sick man, that one hit on the shad fly. Holy smokes, they were all chasing over it. If he didn't have competition in the area, he might not have gone for it because they've been a little finicky today, but I saw a couple looking at it and he was definitely trying to be the first one to get that meal. So sick. All right, there we go. Nice bass on that thing. Success, all right, let's keep it going. Oh, there's, there's three on it. Oh my gosh, there's a good one on it. Nope, they're being too cautious. Oh my gosh, there is a big carp on this thing. I did not know there was carp in here. They're gonna go look at it. This would be insane. These fish are actually looking. Look at that whole school of bait. Oh gosh, <gasps> came up and smoked it. Missed the hook set. Oh, another, oh, got him that time. Third time's the charm. This, golly, every time I get one, there's bigger ones that chase it and wanna eat the bait. Oh my gosh, if only this thing had treble hooks, we'd probably have a six pounder taking it from this little guy. This is so cool. Another solid one, y'all. He's wanting to run with it too. He's taking this under the bridge, don't do that. Oh yeah, he's going. Come on. Yep, he's flailing. <sighs> this one's bigger than the last one. There we go. Solid bass right here, y'all. Let out a little line. This one might be a four pounder. Sick. AJ, yeah, buddy. Alex, thank you again for the flies. Just got a solid one. Let's go, man. Hooked right there in the top of the mouth. There was so many fighting over this guy right here, though. Would not be surprised if we get another one here in just a second.
He got it. Yep, I was watching him. Look, they're going to town. Oh my gosh, they're smoking that school of bait fish. Yes, there's another bass chasing this bass. They're fired up, y'all. This is insane. Oh my goodness, there is probably a six pound. Oh my gosh, there's a five pounder on this like two and a half to three pounder that I've got. I would love to catch two. Look, he's looking at the bait right now. Oh my gosh, he's like gonna eat it out of this one's mouth. That was crazy. That was crazy. I just watched that school of bass pummel the bait fish. And now I've got this one on the hook. That was sick. Okay. Get me a little, little room here. Alex, I'm liking these hooks too, by the way. That was so crazy. Rarely do you cast at the fish that are just like surfacing on the top, smashing bait and actually catch it. Unless you're like, really see a big school. I thought that was one bass just chasing the bait. It turns out there was like six of them honing in on them. Nice. That bass is cold too. <clears throat> I could have nailed that five pounder. Ooh, got him. Another one. Another one. They are loving the shad, Alex. Oh, there's the bait fish too. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, if only this one would come off, I could try and get that distance. In fact, I don't think I could because I'm like casting between trees and apartments, but gee whiz, this is like number five now on the shad. They're smoking it. Let's see you, bud. Oh, big one. Ah missed him they're chasing it they're chasing it he's on it he's on it he's on it he's thinking about it nope another big one that was by it big and they're all looking at it one of them's gonna eat it all right let me get this big one. he's looking he's gonna eat it that's a little guy i don't want him to get it oh he's gonna get it that's okay <laughs> sight fished him oh there we go he came off cool 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 i was gonna say maybe i'd get a rebound and another bass would come after him but i'm i'm happy with that not happening it's all good here we go they're eyeballing it he's gonna go He's gonna go for it. Ooh, he, he didn't go for it. These are the bigger ones in the group. They are thinking about it. Mm, dang, they're on to me, okay. I mean, that thing's a carp. He wouldn't go for it, right? All right, y'all, hour 15 before sunset. Let's go try and tear him up at one more spot. The bite is still on here, but I just, uh, I'm ready for a change of scenery, so. There we go, change of scenery. Now we're on the kayak. Change of fly, by the way. I tied on the purple. <laughs> Devin's actually out here with me. She is fishing off the other yak, uh, throwing big swim baits, I believe, on casting gear. So if she catches some fish, we'll probably throw that in here too to close things out on the final day of fishing with Alex's flies. That is the purple man, sick. Now it is windy today and it is a lot more challenging throwing just about anything with the fly rod. And we're just trying to make it happen for you. So if you've got value out of this video so far, as I'm trying to fix this line, go ahead and please drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and uh, be ready for more bass fishing content. Now, let me get back in the game and see if I can find us another bass right here where the grass is close to the surface. I've got a good shot at them hitting this thing on the move. He's got it, there we go. Oh. Slipped a little bit on that strip. Nice. See, you never want to do this when you land fish on a casting rod. You never really want to high stick fish when you go to flip them in the boat, but when you're actually throwing fly gear, you really just almost take the rod vertical. There's a lot of bend and give in the top there. And so that's how you kind of grab the line and reel in these fish. It would jeopardize breaking it again on the casting gear. But with these, it's kind of how you do it. I've been just looking at my fly line on these last couple bites. I haven't even hardly felt them. I just see the fly line darting to my left. So you know a fish has grabbed it and is starting to run with it. And that's when I, boom, strip set. I found him. Okay, I just caught two over here as well, kind of in a shallow area. Should I come over I there? A, I got a five. Did you really? That's a big one. It was like first couple cranks. And like, cause this stays at the top, it floats. So it was just as soon as it, start, as it started to go under. I had to reset the drag cause it was, she was just pulling drag. Jeez. Oh man, a 488. Oh, it feels good to catch a good fall time bass. They are feeding up like crazy, which totally explains why it hit. I'm throwing some swim baits today, guys, and this is something I've been wanting to break out for a while, and there just hasn't been the greatest. I don't know conditions for it, but this glide bait, this Gan Craft, it is the S Song 115. Oh my goodness, that's really cool. Just different swim baits experimenting around. This is actually a swim bait that our friend Jared down in Austin gave us probably like two years ago, and I'm really excited to put it to use. 
Sick. Perfect. She's just chilling under your kayak. That's funny. Well, oh, I'm fishing God. over here with you. <laughs> Turns out I was in the wrong spot catching the small ones. Oh. Swim baits versus uh, flies. <laughs> that was pretty sweet. Oh, got one. There we go, on the purple. Trying to get him to the surface. Oh, he's not even. No, he's a little. But he looked good. Well, they are loving the purple, dude. That's awesome. Kind of wanted to switch things up. Shad is just an easy confidence bait for me, but this little bit darker, they are loving as well. I will take that. Let's see if we can get a little rebate, little back-to-back -back action. Got him. Oh, little guy, but he hit it right off the bat. That was cool. And that hook had got him pretty good. my favorite messing up a good cast and we still got him it's a little guy though where is the biggins at how come she's the only one raking up the fives they're liking those big swim baits i see switched it up to the popper devin keeps catching big ones and i keep reeling in the small ones so top water it is grass is right below the surface this could be extravagant There we go. <laughs> oh, another good one. Oh, taking me in the grass. Get out of the grass. Oh. They just come up and like ambush it. Four on the dot. I want so badly for Weston to catch something like this on the fly. <laughs> oh, this is too much fun. There, ooh, there we go. That's a better. That is a better shot. Can you see Weston in the background? Ooh, a five and a four for me. I could not be happier. All right, pretty fish. First one on the popper, okay. Finally some top water action, but it's not a giant. They are eluding me today. This is insane. Barely hooked too. I don't even know how I landed that puppy. Oh. Got him. Nice. That was sick. Oh my goodness. He missed it and came back for it. Oh wow. Tried to keep calm, not yell too loud. Pop it again, leave it pretty much in place. I mean, you gotta think, if this is a real life frog or bug on the surface and the bass misses it, do they just like assume it's a bait and then run away? Well, they could if you're being really loud and you start to reel that bait back in, or in this case, strip it back in or freak out, and then you'll scare them off. But by keeping cool, keeping your top water in position, you can catch those fish. That's so funny. Second one on the top water, and somehow I'm still getting dodged by the big ones. There we go. All right, made a little bit of a move. First one over in these trees. Alex, man, thank you so much. We are loading up the kayaks and we are heading out of here. This has been a multi-day adventure with the hand-tied flies. Devin even caught some good ones on the swim bait for you guys last minute on the yaks. Had to break them out. It was a ton of fun. Also, new Fall Guggen merch. There's new stuff dropping every Thursday. Save 10% with code Weston at checkout. It is one of the biggest ways you can help support this channel besides hitting subscribe if you have made it this far and tapping that like button. We'll catch you guys on the next episode. Till then, peace.